welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith, and today I am looking into Chronicles of Dranagor, Age of Darkness yet again, but this time we're going to be checking out the Apocalypse expansion, which is a demo box, so everything you're about to see in this video is in prototype form, including the artwork, any game mechanisms, anything around the rules, and especially the miniatures, but I want to show you everything that's inside of this demo box to help you get a good idea as to whether or not this expansion is something you are going to be interested in. Now, there is an upcoming game found reprint for Chronicles of Dranagor, the core game, and all of the content that came from the original campaign. It launches on July 20th, and the links are in the pinned comment and video description for you to go check out if you wish. It's worth noting, if you happen to jump in on the campaign the first 48 hours, there's a couple free things that will be thrown in, so it's always good to follow it on game found. But beyond that, let's jump right into what's inside this box. We're going to go over all the components and also focus on the new rules that come along with this expansion. Chronicles of Dranagor Apocalypse is a massive expansion that brings 16 new chapters for the Hero of Darren with new adventure mechanics, a lot of boss fights, new monsters, new items, new skill upgrades, and a lot of improvements to the base game. The darkness rule has been revised, simplified, and is now more dangerous. The interaction mechanic has also been revised and improved. There's been a massive impact on the storyline, the core to different scenarios, there's different paths within the same adventure, unique rewards, and a variety of story conclusions have been added. Also, an exciting new mechanic of furniture use is added in to just increase that roleplay feeling, allowing you to throw barrels, chairs, and chests against your enemies. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of content coming inside this expansion, but not only that, but a whole bunch of changes as well. If you're curious about what comes inside of the core box for Chronicles of Dranagor, I have a full unboxing of that, which I'll link to in the top right-hand corner right now. And also, if you're interested in seeing the game in action, some gameplay, especially around the Start Here Guide or the Open and Play Guide, I'll put a link to that in the top right-hand corner as well. And you can go check that out. That was my most recently released video, and that should definitely give you a good idea, at least in terms of the ground rules of how the game flows. So without further ado, how about we take a look at all the components here up close.
So hopefully that gave you a really good look at all the components that come inside the expansion. The next thing I want to talk about is the Apocalypse booklet itself. There is about 70 pages or so as of this printing, again in prototype form. I won't be covering anything around the prologue or the chapters, mainly because I don't want to spoil anything, but we are going to take a look at the new rules section and mechanics. I won't be reading everything, but you'll be able to see the words on the page and be able to pause the screen and read them if you wish. Just remember all this is subject to change in terms of these rules. As you can see on the left hand side here, it talks about companions. Now companions were part of the original base game, but here they have new adventure mechanics, which are all detailed out in bullet form along the left hand side. You'll also notice when we went through the cards just moments ago, there was a companion card that came into play. It breaks out exactly what's going on on this card. A lot of those icons you're gonna be familiar with with the gameplay from the core, but there's a lot of new stuff here too. It then moves into the furniture conversation, and this one's quite interesting. Now, furniture is brand new to this expansion and certainly is going to add some extra and interesting ways to interact with the furniture. The bullet points label out exactly how you can interact. It states here, when you use a telekinesis effect, you can choose to manipulate a furniture against an opponent as long as your telekinesis is enough to drag the furniture over a distance in squares that reaches the target. And secondly, it states, a character who receives furniture thrown in this way suffers two non-preventable damage and you must remove the respective furniture from the board because of course you used it and you've broken the chair let's say over the enemy some furniture provides additional effects when they hit a character Another new adventure mechanic is around a cityscape, and a cityscape's a mechanic that reflects the concept of a race against time in a territory that is compromised. To represent this dynamic, players will be instructed to remove maps and dungeon trays from the board as if they had been destroyed during the course of the adventure. That's really going to shake things up, and there's more to this as you can read here. Adding to the traditional ways that you can fail an adventure, now when you pull the last rune out of the bag, you will also result in a failure. This one is specifically around deepening the adventure mechanics and it's for darkness spawning as it pertains to Apocalypse. So you're still going to refer to the rule book for how to actually deal with darkness, but this is going to add to it. With the overall aim of simplifying the darkness spawning. So you'll see an example in the bottom right hand corner there and some illustration on the left hand side. You'll see an illustration that pertains to the cityscape we already touched on. The rules then dive into what's considered darkness lattice and it goes through some examples of those. And finally, in regards to the darkness, in terms of the spawning rule, you can now have dark spasms, which certainly doesn't sound good. Next up, we have changes to the way history is held on to by our heroes in terms of deepening the adventure mechanics. There are three different areas that are tracked in your campaign log, status, deed, and unfolding. Basically, you're going to have choices along the way that will influence other situations. They'll be tracked across these three different areas, and they're going to actually have impacts to the interactions that you deal with within the game. This leads us into interactions, which have been improved in terms of their execution. This is all detailed right here and along this section here. Now, the first thing I want to mention in regards to this is when you're resolving an interaction, it's going to present its number and title in the standard format, and the narrative text will be there in italics, and the effects of it will be in bold. But some effects are going to vary depending on the status, deeds, or unfoldings possessed by a hero, just like the history we talked about while others may also instruct the reader to proceed another interaction resolution or even choose one. So there's just a whole different approach to that interactions book which is laid out here and there's a couple examples in the top right. You can see those examples clearly now and here it states interacting more than once in the same round and it does still state because of course you have to use a minor action in order to interact. You can't technically do that with the same hero twice in the same turn but another hero could do it. Now we all know in Chronicles of Dronagor there are a lot of doors as when you go through a room you move through a door which then opens up and sets up the next room or multiple rooms. So there's many doors you move through but in this expansion it's going to introduce locked doors. We're now on the final page of the rule changes. This one right here is around new game situation terms. So the terms encounter and resolved crop up and these are the definitions of them. 
Your adventure will deepen now as there's going to be even more special events than what was present in the original game in this expansion. As you noticed earlier when we we're going through the components, something brand new is skill upgrades. And something else I want to make note of is, again, everything you're seeing inside of this expansion booklet currently, including even just grammar and spelling, will all be corrected in the final version. But right here you can see an example token of a skill upgrade. If you flip it over, it has that upgrade on the opposite side detailed out. And you'll also find some examples of how skill upgrades are actually utilized within the game. And then finally, we move to a correct position. Because there'll be times within the gameplay where a character is forced to be repositioned. So this section right here details that out. And that's going to do it for all the new changes that come inside of the expansion. So now you've seen those pages up close. You can read the detail on them. But just remember that this information was printed as part of this booklet even prior to the campaign launch. So again, everything here is in prototype form and is subject to change. And that's going to wrap up this overview video specifically for the Apocalypse expansion, which will be a part of the upcoming reprint for Chronicles of Dranagor Age of Darkness from Creative Games Studios, landing on GameFound July 20th. If you want to find links to that upcoming campaign so you can follow along, I'll have links in the video description and pinned comment. I really hope this entire video gave you a great look at what you can expect to find inside this expansion to date, and of course, changes even may come in the future. Thanks again for watching, and as always, Keep on rolling solo.